Hi Taurus, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another You vs Them. Taurus, let's see how you're feeling now, how the person connected to your energy is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And Taurus, these are general collective readings, may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind, take what works for you and leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Taurus spirit, Taurus, all right, newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here, one side will be for you, one side will be for your person and in the center I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies, if this is your reading Taurus, you'll know which side you resonate best with, for me this is going to be person A, this is going to be person B, bottom of my deck, nine of swords in reverse, somebody says I, I can't take this anymore, Things have just been going backwards for a long time. I want to be out of my anxiety, my sleepless nights, my stress, my tension. I don't want to wait around for somebody who can never make up their mind. Maybe it's time for me to choose another direction. I, I refuse to be made to feel like I'm always on the outside or left out in the cold. I can't take this overthinking and stress anymore. I have to put my boundaries up, barriers up and maybe do something else. The other person... I guess uh, I guess they are feeling a bit stuck or maybe that's seeing things from the other person's perspective or every other perspective and they realized person A is the one who makes them very, very happy. They want to come towards person A. They want to t speak some truth which maybe they've been hiding in their heart for a long time. Whoever this person is, they do want to try again and not just try. I think they have long-term intentions. Um, with the other person so let's see let's see i'm going to clarify these cards uh, but first let's start with some dialogue message sorry i'm going to take three cards from the universe first let's ask the universe what's truly going on in this connection and why what's uh, the underlying reason spirit for both of these people to be feeling this way one more please okay all right so taurus the first card here says freedom only you can get in your own way maybe somebody wanted their freedom more than a connection taboo something was off limits or restricting this connection love game someone was playing mind games here maybe they wanted their freedom maybe they were doing things that kept them happy now they're probably seeing things from the other person's perspective and realizing that was wrong decision a decision is being made about this connection now okay so now let's start Let, let's start with your dialogue message cards taurus let's see if you guys could say something to each other what that would be and then we'll clarify these taurus and their person spirit if they could say something to each other now what would that be taurus and their person spirit thank you let's take a few more taurus from another deck Taurus and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Taurus and their person. Just a few more Taurus from a third deck as well, and then we'll start the reading. Taurus and their person spirit. Taurus and that person all right good to go let's start the reading taurus and if any of you looking for personal readings taurus my email is omkarataro at gmail.com you can reach me there it's there in the description box below as well so the first card here says it breaks my heart to know that i broke your pure heart well somebody is now seeing things from the other person's perspective and saying you know i was just thinking about myself and now i realize I had somebody pure and good in my life and I broke their heart. I recognized you the moment our eyes met for the first time. We are twin flames, I know that. You're not the only one that's scared. This connection scares me too. Sometimes when you feel a very powerful bond with another, sometimes you react in a way which is the opposite, you run away. Or you pretend it doesn't matter to you because the feelings and intention, the emotions are so strong. 
I keep looking up at the stars, hoping you're looking at them at the same time that I do. I'm not your prince and you're not my princess. I am your emperor and you are my empress. I thought the grass was going to be greener on the other side, but it wasn't. I mean, they, I think they, they realized they had already met their perfect match. As much as somebody tried to be a runner or, you know, find happiness elsewhere, they realized that, no, I've already met my person. Emperor to the Empress. Once you see that connection, you can never find, you know, anything better than that. I want to make things right between us. I know I'm the one to blame. I hid who I really am from you. I want to hold you tight in my arms and never let you go. You triggered me and helped me as well to know what I need to work on within myself. I know you're the one for me. I want to marry you one day. I was afraid of commitment. All right. So these were some of your messages, uh, Taurus. If these were resonating with your storyline, let's start this reading. But first, we're going to take an angel blessing card. And this card is for the viewer, uh, Taurus. Mm, this could be you watching, could be your cross watcher who's jumped in here to check on Taurus's energy. So this blessing, guidance, advice or message is for the viewer. Here it is. Forgiveness. Yep, somebody either needs to ask for forgiveness or uh, you may need to give somebody forgiveness. But first of all, forgiveness starts from self. You need to forgive yourself if you play, if you start to blame yourself that maybe there was something wrong with me and maybe that's why they ran or, you know, maybe I was not good enough. No, that's not the case. Some, sometimes people just project onto others their own insecurities and they do stuff which is nothing to do with you. So first and foremost, Taurus, time to forgive yourself and then maybe find forgiveness for this person as well. All right, so now Spirit, tell me uh, what's going on. Let's start with the person A's energy and newcomers. Uh, please remember these are not gender based. I don't know which side you're on, nor do I want to know. I want to be fair to both sides, right? But if this is your reading, you're resonating, then yes, one person, one side would be you. The other side would be a person who's deeply connected to your energy. Could be a love interest, spouse, ex, love interest, a secret crush, but could also be just as well, you know, somebody who's like your business partner or a best friend or maybe a relative, maybe even a sibling or something. So there's just a soul, soul connect who's very important in your life. So let's start. Let's start with person A's energy. Uh, once I'm totally finished here, later we'll move to the other side so you don't get confused. So person A, full focus on you right now in your feelings and your emotions. You have the six of swords in reverse. You feel things were just going backwards. Yeah, I think person A could have found out maybe some information as well or they were trying to find information whether the other person was interested in commitment or long term or something. But they felt that things were always going backwards instead of going forward. I think person A was wishing and hoping that the other person who they saw as their perfect match would step up and, you know, maybe choose them or something. Uh, but all they were left with was, I think, um, just stress and anxiety and sleepless nights and uh, waiting for the other person to make up their mind, maybe to have a return or something. But they were quite disappointed, I think, because they felt I just wasted a lot of time, energy, effort. And uh, I was wishing for something uh, which was stable and long term and uh, th nothing really happened. Right. Somebody really wanted commitment with the other person, but things were very, very stagnant. I think somebody felt very stuck for a very long time till they finally came to the conclusion that, yeah, you know what, maybe this is not my soulmate. This is a false soulmate connection. Maybe they just see me as a friend. Maybe they just treat me as a friends with benefits. They, they, are, they, are, they are not my true soulmate. Why do you feel this way, person A? Tell me. Five of Pentacles in reverse. I think I think person A who was the one who was giving of themselves or over loving, over kind, and then they realized, you know what, this kind of behavior of me always being the giver is making me feel neglected. 
it's like the other person was taking but not giving them so i think they they decided that i'm not going to feel that way anymore i think i need to just give up on this not not make myself feel i'm not good enough uh, i think maybe it's time for me to stop maybe moving towards them and you know every time i move towards them things just backfire on me each time maybe i should just put a lid on that cup of love and save it for myself now because uh, i think person a got tired of this stuck place they found themselves in they felt emotionally stuck but there was no movement so i think person a is the one who's cutting those chains and saying you know what i'm not going to keep myself stuck here eight of um, uh, swords in reverse because they feel the other person never took the initiative they they were not not happy they were happy but not happy but i don't know it's like they wanted their person baby to make up their mind or choose them uh they waited for a long time they truly believed i think person a truly believed that this would be or could have been a perfect match till they found their value and worth and said you know what i know what i bring to the table i'm not going to be chasing anyone anymore i need to move on and focus on my own future and my own growth i'm not going to waste any more time looking at the past and feeling i wanted them to be my you know emperor to my empress or whatever but you know they haven't and oh i'm so sad no i'm not going to do that i'm not going to feel breadcrumbed by a person i need to change my life around and move forward and hopefully find a brand new two of cups in my life so person a how do you see the connection now currently how do you feel about person b uh seven of wands what's the seven of wands seven of wands i think person a says i i did want them to fight for this connection i did want them to return i did see them as a soulmate i did uh, see a happily ever after with them i wanted something long term and stable because i felt this person was from my past life or i've known them for a long time but they never made that choice they never made that choice and now i'm exhausted i'm tired i'm exhausted i'm giving up because uh, how long can just one person keep trying so three of cups what's the three of cups three of cups i think person a is getting a little frustrated now they are frustrated because uh, i think they were waiting they were waiting for some offer to be made or they were waiting for communication from the other person to say you know what um i'm ready for commitment or something they wanted to feel that respect and feel that that person actually acknowledged them as a long term partner but somewhere they feel betrayed because they feel that person is still playing hot and cold still not revealing their emotions keeping their emotions hidden uh, taking too much time i think person a is getting fed up and saying you know i'm just too frustrated i i think it's over i think i should just acknowledge that this this is not meant to be so i think person a really really wanted this connection but it's just because the other person was not making up their mind or taking too long or whatever they did it's kind of exhausted person a to say to think that maybe this is not it all right so what action person a will finally take i will open later taurus let's go to the other side and see how person b is feeling So person B you have the 9 of cups in your feelings in your emotions. Oh yes, they are in spiritual prison right now. They they are now realizing that when they had an opportunity, when this person had an opportunity, they never invested the time, energy, effort. I think they were so busy making their own dreams and wishes come true, maybe seeing if the grass is greener on the other side. As long as they were happy, things were fine. But now that they find themselves in separation or solitude they've had time to think they are realizing oh oh there's more to life than just the 9 of cups i want the 10 of cups this person is enlightened to the connection it seems now now hanged man yes they they are now thinking heavily feeling rather foolish that they held back from their person they held back from their person they never stepped up and maybe they, they had their own insecurities they know what they've done now they feel uh, lost they feel uh, i i need forgiveness i need forgiveness from person a so that uh, you know the toxicity of what i brought into this connection can be released they are they are saying things from person a's perspective and realizing yeah they were very self- 
selfish and very self-centered maybe this person wanted to stay single or they didn't believe in marriage or they didn't i don't know what so tell me person b why don't you tell me why do you feel this way chariot what's the chariot yeah this person is now feeling the blockage between the two of you and that is making them not just think but understand this connection but is also pushing them now to come forward towards person a and reveal what they haven't said so far there's something that this person was keeping a secret but now they want to come and reveal it yeah they they uh, they know that um, their uh past behavior of not taking action or uh, you know just maybe following their own passions has created a heartbreak between the two of you so what do they want to say then uh, high priestess in reverse again what what is that secret that they want to reveal to person a could can you tell us spirit hang pan uh, okay that uh, they are very embarrassed they are very ashamed that when person a was there or asking them they didn't they didn't uh, accept that cup of love or didn't give it this person is very embarrassed very ashamed that uh, maybe at that time maybe they didn't want their life to change or they were unwilling to change and they didn't see the big cup of love that was being offered to them maybe this person was wanting to stay single for a while and now now it's like they they are realizing they probably broke person a's heart doing that uh they do have a little bit of fear that if they do go back now the other person may have their boundaries up or may push them away yes they are scared of being uh, rejected but they do also feel that i have to i have to go and apologize yeah spirit is not going to leave them otherwise third time the hangman has come out i think the more they are seeing things from different perspectives a person's perspective the more they feel you know sad and depressed yeah because they they know that they created an ending here now they're scared they may not even get a second chance because things have stopped between the two of you uh, they are not sure whether they can manifest this connection back they feel even if i go and offer them everything what if my person says it's too late i've turned my back on you i'm still angry and upset with you you took too long and things have already ended so they are kind of going through a huge tower recognizing now that person a is my soulmate i do want to go back to them this is the person who makes me happy this is the person i want to have a happily ever after with but what if the door is already shut one way or the other uh, person b has evolved they have now grown up they have now made up their mind they don't want any other options they've chosen the option they don't want to just come towards person a with only passion they know that this kind of behavior in the past is what backfired on them so So tell me person B how do you see the connection now and how do you see person A uh nine of wands what's the nine of wands you see them a bit defensive now yeah they feel that that, that uh, person A has detached from them or no no longer stuck on them has strong boundaries up it's making them very very upset and angry actually they're angry at like that themselves that they they never took action in the past now they feel blocked now they are scared they may not get a reconciliation but this time round they have intentions good intentions they see person a as uh, the one they want to spend the rest of their life with they do okay so tell me about the four of wands four of wands yeah lo- losing this partnership has woken this person up my god look this just the thought that you know uh, sorry just the thought that i could lose my person or lose this partnership has mm, shaken this person's life up they're going through a tower right now because now they recognize this connection to be a soulmate bond uh, or maybe they always knew it but they were uh, in denial or something now all they can think about is how do i get back how do i get my four of wands back this is my person who i want to return to okay so let's see what actions you guys will take then uh, taurus i'm going to take another deck for this one and while i shuffle this deck 
yeah this stick uh, may i request you remind you if you could just tap the like button for me please helps the videos to circulate keeps me motivated to do more taurus readings and newcomers repeating viewers do like share subscribe to the channel we welcome you in okay mm, let's take a few cards here one second okay so uh, spirit tell me uh, person a action from your end towards person b or otherwise seven of pentacles i think person a is very disappointed in this connection now seven of pentacles yeah they're healing they're healing from all the sadness that was caused i think person a sat in the sadness for a very very long time because i think they really really did see themselves as a perfect partner for the other person they really had these dreams and desires and wishes that you know what if i i will prove to them that i'm loving kind generous they will see my value and worth but person a is kind of healing from the fact that uh, maybe that person didn't so they're sitting in a lot of disappointment at the moment but they could also be right now focused on themselves i said that at the empress came out wow they could be focused on themselves they, i'm not chasing anyone anymore om kara taro i know my value and worth and if they didn't see it it's their bad not mine i am uh, healing myself and i'm going to just take care of my own uh, my own self my own life attracting good things into my life and uh, know that i'm uh, valuable and i'm worth being a true partner to a true person okay so person b action from your side towards person a or otherwise five of wands either they want to fight for this connection or they could be worried that somebody as gorgeous as a uh, person a probably has a lot of competition around them now five of wands king of swords no they want to fight for a second chance i feel oh yes oh yes they they've realized that they are madly in love they are in love with person a this person says i want to address the issue i want to be honest i want to have that talk if i have to fight for this connection i will why because they want a brand new chapter and in this chapter they coming in to offer something very very stable and long term very stable uh so what was this nine of swords in reverse spirit ah this is person a who says i'm i'm no, i'm no longer losing any sleep uh, regarding this connection because i'm fed up i'm fed up of this back and forth of them not being able to make up their mind i think what they truly wanted was a 10 of cups and that is i think exactly how person b wants to return as as somebody who's ready to offer not just the 10 of cups but the 10 of pentacles marriage long term happily ever after so i guess uh, taurus person a expect a message keep your heart open because this person is going to come in and come in really quick they want to transform this connection it's like let's end the past and let's start brand new let's start from scratch let's make it stable and let's begin again this person has gone through an emotional awakening about maybe their own toxic behavior and what they've learned has actually turned them into a person who's now ready to commit for the long term this person is wanting coming back to heal this connection all right so that's what i have for you taurus till next time then love and light take care namaste